Hi all, today we're opening up this GMK Tech N150 box. I think it's a G3 model. Um, box came from Amazon, a little bit damaged, it was $180. It's got 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 gig SSD. And it comes pre-installed with Windows 11 Pro. There's quite a lot of connectivity. There are two HDMI ports up to 4K. There are two USB 3.2s on the back. Um, there's another two on the front. There is a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port and a headphone adapter. That's for the power it takes, I think, 12 volt power. Overall, the box is pretty light. It's, it feels a little bit plasticky, but um, I guess that's part of what makes it so light. Included in the box is, I guess, some manuals and warranty stuff. And an HDMI cable and a wall mount plate I guess if you want to stick this thing behind a desk or behind a monitor on a visa port um, this is quite handy I won't be using it and a power supply Um, just a small little power supply brick. The whole thing weighs only 260 grams. Or well, for those of you who work in ounces, 9.15 ounces. Let's open it up to see what's inside. The lid just pulls off, just like that. And inside you can see the memory slot and the SSD. There's an expansion slot. And that's about it. Very simple, very neat, very compact. There's a fan at the bottom. Um, in case it does get hot it cools itself down. But let's boot it up and see how easy it is to set up. Trying out the ports. They're a little bit stiff and clunky. Not the smoothest experience. I guess the flip side is that you don't feel like it's about to come loose. And it's kind of the same feeling with the USB. Just a little bit sticky but um, quite secure. So here we're booting it up. It takes a couple of minutes to get going. The Windows logo pops up and then it comes up with the settings for the machine. You need to pick a language and a location and a keyboard layout. You can skip the secondary keyboard. Then you need to review and accept the terms and conditions. I don't know if anybody ever actually reads these. And then you need to create a user. Now I like to create a local user as my admin user. And to get Windows 11 to do that, the easiest way is to leave the computer off the network while you're doing this initial setup. Um, you've got to enter passwords and security questions. But now you have a local user account that you can use as your admin user on this computer. It will now go through its user setup process, which you're probably all quite familiar with. It takes a couple of minutes. And there we have it. Now, in order to create an online user, um, you need to now connect to the network. Um, you can do that using a wireless network or a wired network, it doesn't really matter. 
um, and then navigate to the account section and scroll down and you will find uh, an other user section and there you can add an account. The easiest thing to do is to actually add a Microsoft account that links in your OneDrive and everything else that you need. And once you're done with that, you're all ready to go.